Ah, The Simpsons merchandise. What a strange and mysterious world it is. Given the show's humongous popularity and long-lasting nature, it's no wonder branded tat has been a part of its history from the very beginning, and never stopped since. From the early days of Bart Mania to the Funko Pops of today, you'll never stop the series from plastering its characters over just about anything and everything. And if you're a fan of the show, you've most likely got a little something with Matt Groening's name printed somewhere. Over the years I've grown my own little collection of Simpsons products, but I'd like to think I've been relatively sensible in what I bought. DVDs are of course the obvious purchase, and even in these subscription-based streaming days, it's good to have them on physical media that you outright own. For starters, you get all the commentary tracks, which, especially for the earlier seasons, give some great insight into the making of the show. But perhaps more importantly, you're not at risk of having episodes removed at the whim of somebody else. Season 3's premiere, Stark Raven Dad, isn't on Disney+, Plus due to its connection with Michael Jackson. And whether you agree with the action or not, there's no denying it sets a rather dangerous precedent of erasing history. But hey, that's a whole other can of worms. Let's just get back to the merchandise. As well as DVDs, I've got my fair share of Simpsons books too. Character themed ones, Bart's Guide to Life, some comics, and all of the episode guides including this big daddy of a box set, they're all nice to have. But perhaps my favourite is this, The Simpsons Handbook, full of tips and tricks to help teach you how to draw characters from the show. I loved this thing when I was younger, and remember spending hours trying to perfect my hand-drawn Homer Simpson. There's a few other bits like the dusty old Simpsons version of Monopoly that I hardly play because, well, it has electric money, and that's just no fun. Or a collection of Lego minifigures that were released a few years back, since destined to spend their days wrapped up in a plastic bag. Oh, and who can forget my official Simpsons face cloth that sometimes makes an appearance on the channel. But I've avoided other stuff that frankly should never have seen the light of day, of which there is plenty. Take, for example, this girl's perfume. I mean, there's obvious reasons for not wanting this, but why does it exist? Or how's about this Chia Homer? Or these terrifying soft toys? A Homer potato head? A Homer mug with biscuit holder? A dead-eyed Funko Pop? Another 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 dead-eyed Funko Pop? This whole video could just be me gawking at photos of terrible products that somehow became official Simpsons merch, but the series is self-deprecating enough to acknowledge all this tat. And why bother doing that when I could buy my very own terrible merchandise and get a hands-on experience instead? Problem is, I'm a cheapskate, so there's no way I'm paying for any of that tat similar to what I just showed off, no no no. Instead, we're turning to the much weirder and thankfully cheaper world of bootleg merchandise. For as much official merch as there is, there's a whole lot more unofficial stuff to buy instead. Simpsons bootlegs have been around for just as long as their authentic counterparts. In fact, let's be honest, they probably predate them. When Bart became America's favourite bad boy in the early 90s and millions of branded t-shirts were sold, a slew of counterfeits were printed to reap some of those benefits too. We're talking a lot and they were weird. But it isn't just limited to t-shirts. Knockoff products came in all shapes and sizes, from soft toys to figures of the whole Simpsons family. Series creator Matt Groening himself is a big fan of all this stuff, and has spoken numerous times of his ever-growing counterfeit collection. And hey, if it's good enough for him, well it's good enough for me. Though I'll be honest, I have dipped my toe into the wacky world of unofficial Simpsons products before. A few years back, thanks to some spot-on targeted advertising, Wish.com enticed me into buying some of their Simpsons-themed enamel pins. I made a video about it if you're interested, but long story short, they were good. I mean, I'm a fan of enamel pins anyway, so it wasn't exactly a hard task, but I was impressed nonetheless. I was eager to see what else was available, but this time try out the other Chinese tap marketplace, AliExpress, instead. Let's face it, it all comes from the same factories, and the good news was, it actually seemed to be a bit cheaper on there too. After signing up and logging in, I was immediately hit by a barrage of coupons and numbers and prices and vendors, but they did have a lot to search through. I had a lot of fun sifting through the pages and pages of junk to try and find something that caught my eye, and in all honesty, I did pick some that are obviously going to be a bit crap and funny, but there's a couple in there that I'm also legitimately interested in. 
As is the case with these sorts of sites, you end up paying more for shipping than the actual products themselves, but after grouping it all together into one parcel, I ended up spending £24.61 on 9 items. A good few weeks later, these popped through my door and I was excited to see what my money had got me. Spoiler, some things ended up being out of stock and refunded, some things just didn't turn up at all, and some things had to be swapped out for other items. Great. Okay, I'm here, I'm ready to go. I've got my Ashen set up. No brown sofa, but I got a brown desk. Got my bag of Chinese tat next to me. Let's see what's in store. Item number one is... Oh, it rings. Ah, look at this. Look at this. This is a cute The Simpsons keychain, creative animation character doll keychain fashion, couple backpack keychain pendant toy, Children toy gift. And of course, the whole family was available, but I had to get... I had to get Marge, didn't I? Look at her. There she is. It's like a rubbery, plasticky, jingly... What does this say? <laughs> Beautiful every day. I mean, isn't she? Just look at her. Look at the detail on the hair. I mean, there's a bit of a gap in her head, but that's fine. In fact, you could probably... Oh, yeah, you could probably pull her head off. Um, there's, a, there's a profile. I mean, she's not looking her best, is she? Even though she's meant to be beautiful every day. But um, look at that. I'm going to put this on my on my keychain. I'm going to maybe, maybe take this giant bit off. I want the bell. You know, I want to be able to jingle my way around, show off my Marge keychain. Love that. Love that. Uh, let's just see, how much did I pay for this? £4.11? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was £1.58 and I'm guessing the, the shipping was the rest. Well there you go. If you've ever wanted a Marge keychain, you can get it. For £4.11. <laughs> Do you know what, I'll, I'll take a... she can go over there. We'll bring it all together at the end. What's next? Okay, next up we've got a lovely little package here full of, what's it gonna be? It's stickers. Is that all of them? Yes it is. Lots and lots and lots of stickers. I had to get this because I was just... Ugh. Some of the previews of what some of these stickers are, they're weird. They're very weird. I paid. How much was this? Uh, £2.68 with delivery for 50 stickers. 10, 30, 50, 100 piece anime The Simpsons cartoon graffiti sticker DIY stationery for laptop, guitar, bicycle, fridge, motorcycle decal toy. Let's, oh my goodness, let's see what's actually in here. I hope there's no weird ones or rude ones or disgusting ones. I'm hoping they're all relatively clean. I saw some very strange stuff on there. Okay, okay, so we have Bart as Charlie Brown. Grim Reaper Homer. <laughs> um, is that Patty or Selma? I always forget. Let's just move on from that. Oh, that's quite nice. A lard lad Homer. Too beer or not too beer? Oh, like a, a Simpsons family crest with Spanish on the top? I don't know. Uh, Cute one of Maggie. They've got to speed up. There's 50 of these to go through. I, uh, New York. That's quite... Kafka Lush. Kafka Lush. I can do it. And then Homer with... Oh, yeah, that was the, the Rolling Stones episode. These aren't bad. I quite like these. Let's open some more. Are we going to look for all of them? I think we probably are. Creepy Bart... Oh, another creep. Is that Bart? Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, what was it? Angry Homer. Oh, that's the Nirvana Bart. That's that's quite good. Meh. Meh. What is this? Why is it all tat? Is that meant to be like a, um, an actual rapper or something? I don't know. The Simpsons movie. Woohoo. 
<laughs> kind of strange pointing Homer. Okay, we've got three packs left. No, we've got, we've got three packs left. I feel like I'm opening um, baseball cards or something. Oh, look at this one. Weird sort of, I don't know what that is. It reminds me of, um, reminds me of uh, Mr. Sparkle a little bit. Uh, graffiti Bart, Mad Skills, Hellraiser. Okay, we got our first double. <laughs> I can do it. Lisa. Oh, oh, now this is actually quite good. Better Call Hut. No, Money Down. <laughs> that I like that. That one's a good one. These are actually, I'm very impressed with these so far. Uh, oh, that's um, Captain, what was his name? That that one, I can't remember that episode very much. Just some donuts. Oh, the family crest one again. Maggie, sh <laughs> I guess this is who shot Mr. Burns. <laughs> it's like a dramatization of it. <laughs> She's angry. Oh, it's like a like a um, Homer portal donut thing. Weird. Very weird, but liking it. Is that all of them? Yep. Yeah. We've got, ooh, Bart on Squishy Machine, Donut one again, Homer as Popeye. Oh, like an Anatomy Homer. Yeah. Homer and Bender. A little bit miscut that one, but that's fine. Oh, no, actually, it's okay. There's the Pie Man one again. That one. <laughs> oh, yes. <gasps> yes. Nothing at all. That's great. Um, that's terrible. Look at Homer there. Is it going to focus? Why does he look like that? That's too bad. Let's just move on. Oh, that's a very interesting. That's a bit creepy. Homer as a donut eating a donut. That's cannibalism. Right, last pack. I was not expecting this. I thought these would be, well, A, weirder. And B, lower quality. They're actually quite good quality, these stickers. They've got like a good finish to them. Uh, they're not huge, but they, you know, they're for laptops or whatever. Uh, Homer. Oh, look at that one. That's kind of neat. I like that. I mean, it's a little bit gross, but also good. Buddhist Homer with 13. Oh, no, it's not 30. It's a, <laughs> it's a character. Uh, Homer strangling Bart. What was this one? Bart with Nike on his t-shirt. Ooh! Bart and Lisa as a playing card. Well, I just dropped one, didn't I? Oh, this is the um, Evolution. That's good. A Vitruvian Man with stuff in his hand. That's good. Ooh, quite a minimalist one. Yeah. And then finally, oh, is that when the TV shuts off? And they're screaming at the TV. Do you know what? I didn't actually count if there was 50. I guess there was 10 in each pack. I'm very impressed with those. I think they're actually pretty good. I don't know what I'd use them for. I mean, I could put some on my work laptop and stuff. But um, there was no creepy ones. There was some, definitely some creepy ones in the previews. But there we go. I guess I got lucky. And what was my, I mean, I really liked, uh, what was my favorite one? I would say it's probably, um, I've already forgot it, but it's one I really liked. Hang on, I will find it. Oh yes, there you are. <laughs> Nothing at all. Okay, let's move on. I would say, I mean, this, yeah. These though, they're a winner. Let's move them to the side and I'll get the next thing. Another white envelope. And inside this one, we have, <laughs> right here. This, that's right, this is the Hip Hop Simpsons Drip Oil Cartoon Anime Character Pendant Necklace Charm Choker Necklaces for Women, Jewelry Free Drop Shipping. Okay, don't really know what half those words mean, but that's fine because we have, wow, wow, look at this, look at this bling. I don't really understand it. But it's Bart, 
in like a what was it like a Russian hat or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. It's just shiny, and I like shiny things. I'm gonna wear this out. I'm gonna next time I go out, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna look so cool. <laughs> How much was this? This was two pounds sixty one, one pound thirty one, and the rest was delivery. I would say that's a bargain. I don't know about you. I love that. Interesting choice of making Bart black. I guess it's just like... I don't know. We have seen that black Bart is a very common thing amongst uh, bootleg Simpsons merch. So maybe that's why. Let's move on. Okay, so I think this next one might be pretty bad, but the picture was so funny I just had to buy it, all right? Just, just, let's just... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so this is... Simpsons, family, comedy, metal, pin, brooches, cartoon movie, Springfield, Bart, Lisa, Bart, no, badge, jewellery, gift for fans, friends, and kids. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but <clears throat> I just saw this little Lisa and I thought, what is wrong with her? Why does she look like that? <laughs> Why does she look like that? She's coming to get you. No, I mean, you know, it's just a little... I love my enamel pins. Maybe not when they look like this, but... <laughs> it's also incredibly tiny. Like, if I get one of these stickers, like, this is the... <laughs> or compared to the Marge, it's tiny. But... How much did this cost me? One pound and one pence. This actually only cost 84 pence. The rest was in shipping. That's just... Uh... I don't know, I need to add this to my collection. But there she is, little Lisa Simpson. If you didn't hit, if you didn't hate Lisa before, now you can. Ugh. Okay, so this next one I am very interested in. I think this one might actually be good. It came in a little box. And this is, well actually let's open it first and then I'll show you what it is. Please be good, please be good because you cost me Oh, you cost me one pence! Oh, that's right, I used a coupon on this one. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? I hope I take that out. Look at this design. Wow. Oh, look. Get this box out of the way. Look at this. It's a little modern wooden music box. The Simpsons Christmas birthday gift unique mechanical toy for children. Now, I want to add, they had loads of these. They had themes for every sort of show, film, whatever. Probably had Family Guy ones, all sorts. I'm just really curious. I mean, this cost me one pence, guys. Would it play the Simpsons theme? And would it play it accurately? Would it sound good? I guess that's just... How do we... How does it work? How do I, how do I make it work? Oh! Wow! <laughs> wow! That was actually good! That was actually good! I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it a bit better. I, I kind of messed up there in the middle. Wait a minute. Let's try that one more time. I mean, it's not perfect. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that. It's not perfect, but um, it's, it's you know, you can recognise it. That is definitely the Simpsons theme. Da, 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 da. In fact, I'm going to, yeah, I, I think, I think that's pretty good. For one pence, you know, just thrown in with the rest of the stuff. Look at this lovely intricate design and the Simpsons family kind of burned onto it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And look, you can get like a nice close up. It's a little bit creepy in places, I think, but I think that's just the nature of little mechanical music boxes. But uh, I, I think that's actually great. I think that's great. I think we actually have a bit of a winner 
here. I mean, I would include the stickers as well, but I mean, this is on another level. Come on now. One pence. Bargain. Next up, we have this little thing. This is comic, anime, jewelry, keychain, cartoon figure, toy, Bart Simpson pendants, trinket, keychain, chains, car, keyrings, woman, man, kid, gift. <laughs> well, it's not actually Bart Simpson. It is, of course, Homer Simpson, and it is basically just a metal pendant, I think. Let's get it open. Uh, I think this is actually a different colour. I think I ordered a different colour, but there we are. That's fine. Oh, and it's also hollow. Oh, look, can you get like one of those um, illusions of like, is it facing in or facing? No, that doesn't really work. Anyway, it's just a kind of big eyed, slightly creepy version of Homer. Um, it's, I mean, it's it's metal. It's actually metal. That's good, I guess. It cost £2.24. 69 pence. Oh no, I did order bronze. Tell, no, tell a lie, this is the one I ordered. I'm trying to knock them down, but yeah, they're right. Uh, so yeah, this um, this is a lovely great big keychain. Look at this, like with the Marge one, you've got like a husband and wife thing going on here. Slightly different styles, sure, but you know. Um, I'm a bit, I mean, the back's kind of ugly. Wait, is that actually, wait, 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 wait. I mean, it, it's it got the stuff in there as if this is official Simpsons stuff. It's got like, the logo and Matt Groening. I don't think this is, though. I'd be very surprised if this was. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame to go from the music box to this. This is kind of just a bit crap. But oh well. you got to have some stinkers, haven't you? you got to. <laughs> I just don't like how much he stares at you. Okay, we've got two items left. What is next? It is, of course, going to be another Marge thing. I couldn't just get one Marge-related item, could I? No, 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 no. So I got uh, what arguably might be the most useful <laughs> product in this whole video. Socks. Not just any socks, though. Look at these. Look at these. So the nice pair of trainer socks with gigantic Marge faces on them. Look at that. Oh, the quality. The quality of them. I'm sure these are 100% cotton. <laughs> I'm going to smell them. Hang on. Yeah, they smell okay. Um, yeah, I like them. I, I liked how bold they were. I liked the big marge on. I like the little blue blue trim on the top. And, you know, that's not. you can tell that's marge. That's like a pretty good print of marge. Or not print, but, you know, a sew of marge. I like it. You could say, I just think they're neat. Uh, I will, of course, show a photo of these on because you must see them. You have to see them in action. <laughs> there were lots of designs to pick from for this. Uh, this is Simpsons cartoon, anime, funny, socks, men, hip hop, print, novelty, crazy, sock and hip, hop, unisex, comfortable, skateboard, happy, meass. Um, yeah, lots of different Simpsons ones. There was like a Homer version of this and a few Bart ones. But I, of course, went with Marge and it cost me a whopping £1.73. They're probably going to get holes in them straight away, or rip, but uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Right, on to the final product. Now this last one is the one I'm actually hoping is going to be good quality because it's the thing that I think is sort of the nicest in terms of a Simpsons product. It's something from the show, it's something that um, fans would recognise, but maybe not other people. I don't know, it just and it's like a product that would make sense to make in real life. I bought for a whopping four pound and seventeen pence. <laughs> All they're called on AliExpress is metal pin, but look at these! Look at these! Oh, let's get these out. These are, of course, from the episode. Oh, okay, you get a spare one of those. Um, these are from Lisa's wedding, where we get a little time travel into the future to see how Lisa fares, and uh, she gets married to the British guy, Hugh, and Homer wants him to wear his his pig cufflinks. And look at that. Oh, these actually do look like they've come out pretty well. I was worried that these would end up like the Lisa one. Where is she? I've lost her. Maybe that's for the best. Oh, here she is. 
I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with how she was made, but these, they're a different style, but I mean, yeah, look, oh, they look great. I mean, you couldn't, I mean, you, I suppose you could kind of wear them as cufflinks. They haven't, they've obviously got like a, they're not meant to be cufflinks, but I think just pin badges are enough. Let's get the, let's get the groom out as well. I'm so glad these came out. These are the things I was most looking forward to. Oh, look at them. Just going to stare at them for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there, there you go. That's, that's probably the, that's probably my favorite out of the whole thing. Cause I think they're just, they're just good. They're just good. And they, they look really good. Like you sometimes with enamel pins, you get like bleed over and like, it's not painted properly. They, they look really neat and well done. So I'm happy. I'm happy in terms of the whole thing. Let's see. Let's bring them all out. Get all on, get all on camera. Will ya? Music box, creepy, creepy Homer, little Lisa. Oh, this thing. That's right. Marge. Uh, and then all the stickers. Oh my God, so many stickers. Um, let's get Ned on top. What do we think? Was that worth £24 something? Maybe. I'm actually surprised. I think that might have been worth it in the end. Hardly any of it is official. I think the most official looking thing is this with the actual proper... Um, stuff on the back, but not everything needs to be official merchandise. Not more money needs to go to Disney now. They've got enough money. Let's give some money to these Chinese factories instead who make this stuff without licenses. Yes, yes, that sounds good to me. Um, so there you go. Can you buy some cheap knockoff Simpsons tat online and find some good stuff? The answer is yes. <laughs>